Hello the kids, it is I, Stray Cat, the one and only, coming to you with another episode of Fallout 4. Alright, when we left off, we were, you know, coming back to Sanctuary to get, you know, a couple things built up, a bit more power added to my house, and, you know, get Sanctuary looking a little better, as well as, you know, making this, because I deserve it. Uh, yeah. Here lies the dignity of Stray Cat. Survival is difficult. Much too hard. Yep, that's gravestone of my dignity. So you're all aware. Anyway, moving on. With that out of the way, now we're going to continue on with our other quest. Which requires me... To be over here. There we are. The place we were supposed to be. Uh, Backstreet Apparel. We're heading over there right now. And getting that mission done and over with. Correctly. Huh. I'm going to drink my soda while the loading screen's going. So I can uh, let you guys soak in my, uh, my gravestone there. <sighs> yeah, that didn't actually take all that long, just so you're aware. <laughs> that didn't, I mean, it, it took a while, don't get me wrong, just to get it all lined up. But it didn't take nearly as long as I thought it would. <laughs> and I debated whether or not to do it in, like, neon or not. <laughs> but uh, I ultimately settled on that, because uh, it doesn't really look as gaudy as... <laughs> You know, some other ways I could have done it. Anyway, back street apparel. We continue on, and we fight the raiders that are giving these guys trouble. From all the way over here, for some reason. I don't know how that works, but alright. Well, so, yeah, he knocked the match out of my hand. I was so surprised that I swung and broke his nose. He said he was sorry and gets it. He said he was afraid of fire. <laughs> he was afraid of fire? That's a thing. He was afraid of fire. You keep interrupting me, it's irritating. Oh. Jeez. Tied all these mattresses together, and then we placed one mattress in the middle and put the kid on it. We doused all the mattresses with gas, except his, and then lit them on fire and pushed them down into the water. Wow! Out the kid couldn't swim. Anyway, that's that. Didn't 
see that coming. Wow. That is fucked up on so many fucking levels. Now I actually want to kill you really, really strongly. And now you're dead. Whoa, geez. He has a shotgun, I can tell that much. Whoopsie doodle. Run away. Up. 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 Okay. That really did not work out well in my favor. Alright. There's that one. Gone. Up. There we go. Hug me. You okay? Oh, yeah. You are not okay. There we go. Perfect. Uh, grab all of this stuff off of this crazy woman. Jesus. Fucking messing with a... <laughs> messing with a phobia like that? Are you kidding me? Why? Why would you do that? That is absolutely ridiculous. Oh my god. Okay. <laughs> I had to stop and just listen to that story because I've never heard anything like that one before. Oh, holy shit. I am glad I shut up and let that story play out. Okay. Alrighty, let's kill this one. And I don't have enough AP for this. Fuck me. Come on. Oh, jeez. Ow. Ow, 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 ow. Come on. And the head goes off. Nice. We're... Oh, the rest of them are upstairs. Okay. Well, apparently I have my work cut out for me. Well, I managed to kill this one. The uh, leader of the whole thing. Heavy pipe revolver pistol. Is that? No, that's not as valuable as I wish it was. Oh, well. Uh could grab that. That'd be useful. Eh, I'll take it. Fair enough. Uh, that's a nice typewriter. So I, And because it was marked, I assume it has all my good stuff. That, I know it does. Because I need that. Uh, cannot get into that. Can I? Nope. I cannot get into that either. Right arm bones. Okay. Uh, surprised I found that. Alrighty. Well, apparently they're getting a little antsy and pissy with each other. So, I mean, that works, right? Eh? Okay. There we go. Open that. Yes. One on a stick. Medex and wine. That's always good. My health is down the fucking tubes at this point. <laughs> oh, jeez. I'm still remembering that friggin' story. The hell is wrong with them? Well, I mean, they're raiders, so... But usually they sure some... <laughs> show some sort of remorse for what they're doing. They didn't even care. I'll pop that just so I can get all of that health plus a bonus. Jesus. Alrighty. Nothing really going on here. Got the rib cage. Um, and right arm bones. There's more bones over here than I thought there would be. Alright, let's open this door. See what's going on here. This fucking place is filled with one weird thing after another. Uh, teddy bear with eyeglasses reading a Boston view. Okay, that's a thing, I guess. Alright, up the stairs we go to deal with whatever the fuck's up here. Because we know there's raiders. We heard them earlier. Jeez. Oh, Okay. That almost didn't work out in my favor. Short pipe rifle, I'll leave that. Well, you're, how about your bullshit? Uh, 
How about that? How about that for you? And there we go. And put all the bullets in the head. If it would work, please. There we go. That worked out a lot better. Uh, stim pat. Whoops, that's not what I wanted at all. Dog meat got in my way and made it a little difficult, didn't you, boy? Dink. Okay, where's this guy? Oh, or girl, rather. Oh, 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 ba -do. Okay. Oh, you do not get to hit my dog. No one gets to hit my dog. Take your bullets. There we go. Perfect. Alright, we got a pack of duct tape, which is always good. I think that does it for this whole place. Hey, hey, hey! Critical hits with unarmed and melee damage attacks permanently uh, do plus 5% more damage. Nice. Alright, I, I can't read anymore also because my brain has uh, melted after the story I heard <laughs> coming into this place. And some of the things I've found while being in here, that is going to be hard to open. Unless I find a thing that will allow me to open it. Because usually above uh, advanced, they tend to have some sort of way of opening it up while you're in the building. Like a key or something. Huh. I'm just going to keep looking around, see if I can find that. Skullcap bone, aluminum can, skull faceplate, uh, toaster. Well, we know what happened here. <laughs> and uh, the bones being where they were, you can only imagine what actually happened. Yeesh. Groody. Let's reload see what else we can dig up around here because obviously we can find a key for that thing just need to find out where it is for that safe and if not well, you know fuck me <laughs> got it alrighty uh, toothpaste for sure we need the antiseptic especially that one and actually I should probably get on my pit boy and mark it through my junk uh, tab. <laughs> I had to uh, make sure I <laughs> said that in a certain way, apparently. Okay, that's stupid. Again, I hit the wrong button. Um, what was the stuff in the Pro Snap? Uh, do need the gears more than anything right now. So, let's double checking what we got. Yep, yep. Yep, yep, yep. We're good. We are good. Now let's go down here. Take a corner. That's not what I need. Although I do need the uh, asbestos later on. I keep hitting the wrong button. Ah! Uh, asbestos, yeah. Pretty much all the A's you're going to need in the later game. <laughs> because you run out really fucking fast. Oh. I didn't realize you had a Molotov cocktail. That works out better for me. Alright, and the key's probably down here somewhere. Maybe not in this area per se. But that I could use. Yep. I, for I keep forgetting the cigarettes have asbestos in them. In the game. The oh, yeah. This guy doesn't have anything. Never mind. Now, let's see. Should be somewhere. Oh, there's arms, legs, rib cage, and that's it in here. <laughs> Who'd have thunk that'd be in one of these rooms? Just a bunch of bones. Okay, let's see what we got in here. Uh, eh, but, uh, oh, come on. That is bullshit. There we go. Sweet. Perfect. All right. Mentats. Duct tape. Good stuff. Okay. Those are some uh, mannequins that I have no idea why they're in here. 
probably because it's an apparel store. There, this is just the storage room. Uh, yeah, I was making sure I didn't miss any on that one because uh, I wanted to make sure I got anything valuable off that crazy person. Okay, I'm not seeing anything really other than a couple of bits of pre-war cash. So, yeah, I don't think that's going to work out. Let's see if I have any things that I can pick up over here. Uh, yeah, this guy doesn't have anything worth it. Uh, how about over here? Huh, looks like no... Looks like a big old negatory on all of that. That's disappointing. Considering this is an apparel store. Should have it. Or something like it. Bottle cap. I don't know why that's in the register, but okay. Hmm. Huh. About in here. Nope. Nope. Nothing. Nothing on the uh, mannequins either. Hmm. Huh. The only thing that was around was the traps that dog meat ran right into over there and I ran into this over here <laughs> and everything went south from there uh, is there something here not really patch three-piece suit uh, farm hand clothes that's about it hmm. yeah this place was a lot of more lackluster than I remember it being Huh. Alright. We'll call it good. We'll just get out of here. Because uh, now the mission is done. And I can just head back and tell them I did the deed for them. Drinking my soda in the meantime. While the loading screen's going. Ah! There we go. Good. Alright. Now we head back to o Oberlin Station. I thought that was farther away. Okay. Institute synths come in a variety of models, from the skeletal Gen 1 to the advanced Gen 3, which is indistinguishable from a human. For some reason, my brain didn't want to comprehend skeletal Gen 1, and it almost said Gen... <laughs> I don't want to say what it almost could have been, because I stopped myself in the first place. Okay, Stedler. I took care of those raiders for you. Cause I'm good really? at that. Well, that's the best news I've heard in a long time. By the way, we've talked about it, and we've decided to support the Minutemen. Hey. We're giving it another chance. The only way things will get better is if we stand together. That is true. Alrighty. Now I just need to talk to Preston again. Also, need to make some things up if I have. No, I do not. I do not have any corn or mute fruit currently because adhesive is one of those things currently in the early game you need a fuck ton of if you want to keep modding your weapons and that is something I have run out of almost exclusively in this particular sort of manner. So yeah I'm not seeing anything nearby that I could possibly use as target practice so I'm gonna head over to Sanctuary once more. Which we're already at 74 for some reason. Imagine that. Heavy guns are generally large, bulky, and exceedingly powerful. They include, but are not limited to, the Broadsider, Fat Man, Flamer, Gatling Laser, Minigun, and Mini Missile Launcher. That's what I meant to say. Not Mini uh, Missile Launcher. Because mm. that would be cool, but... Uh, a little OP. <laughs> Just a little bit. Alrighty. Good stuff. Now let's drop all the junk we grabbed here. And eh, let's see if the food growed. Growed. If there was any growth with the food, rather. Well. That's what I meant to say it as, but English decided to fail my brain. There we go. All the good stuff. Now we need to uh, get a little more going on the mute fruit here. Because I extended the potatoes a little bit further. Nothing I hate more than raider scumbags. 
If you run into any, put a few down for me. Can do. And let's open up the corn. There we go. And a bunch of carrots, which are always good for almost everything at this point. What the? Oh. <laughs> Mama Murphy's just phased through the wall. Okay. That's the thing, I guess. It's a little weird, but all right. I guess that'll do. Yeah. Okay. I was just making sure you weren't just lollygagging or something. You're unassigned, though, so... Just looking to trade a little. Yeah, let me see what you got. Oh, got some of those. Got some of that. I can leave you with one, because as long as you leave the settlers with one bit of ammo, they'll usually shoot till their, you know, heart's content. Huh. Well, what can I do with you? That's the question that I should ask myself. Hmm. Probably could use you for food production, actually. So, have you look into food? There we go. And... Got it, too. There we go. Okay. I wanted the mute fruit. There we go. And need that there. And this there, and this there. Okay. Yeah, I did. You to assign someone to this. I could have sworn I just assigned someone to it. Okay, now I need to figure out what's going on with that. Is that working? Now, now it's working. Okay. Well, anyway, now that that's taken care of, need to talk to Preston for the thing. Hey, Preston. I took care of the raiders that were harassing that settlement you sent me to. The people there have decided to join our cause. Yeah. One day, we'll be strong enough to drive that scum out of the Commonwealth for good. That would be nice. I've got something else for you to look into. We can find yeah, out okay. more than just survival. We've got that's good. That we're having trouble communicating with all our settlements. It's a good problem to have. I have a solution. Don't we only have two? I think it's time to retake the castle. It used to be the Men and Men HQ, way before my time. The well castle, huh? Centrally located, and most important, it has a powerful radio transmitter we can use to broadcast to the whole Commonwealth. Hmm. What happened to it? So what happened to this castle if it was so well fortified? This was long before I joined up, but the story I heard was that some kind of monster came out of the sea and destroyed the fort. A lot oh. of was killed in that battle. And I guess nobody ever felt it was worth the risk to try to retake it. I've always wondered if losing the radio station was the beginning of all our later problems. So, Probably. should I have an assault force assembled near the castle? Uh, later. We'll do it, we'll do it later, for sure. I'll think about it and get back to you. Your call. Just let me know when you're ready to pull the trigger. I've got I will let you do our that. Our found a promising spot for a new settlement. Yep. Once you clear it out, okay. set up a radio beacon to let settlers know about it. Can do. Before you know it, we'll have a thriving new farm instead of wasteland. We'll take hmm. back the Commonwealth. Sunshine's Tidings Co-op. That has a thing that I want to get, so we're going to end the episode right now and head on to that place in a moment. Anyway, thank you all so much for watching. Click the subscribe button if you like these videos and you want to see more. And click the like button if you like this particular video. And share and comment so we can bring more people into this community. We can talk about the games we're playing together. And I will see y'all in the next episode. This has been the one, the only, Stray Cat playing games. And running around for you.